Hello everyone. So today in this uh, strategy series, I'm going to work on fighting back of this NPC character. So if I select this blue team, this is my team and start attacking on the red guy. Now the red guy will start to fight back like this. So even if he die, dies, he starts to fight back. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. Okay. So we worked on attacking characters yesterday and now we still have a problem here. So for example, if I initiate an attack on this character, now you see it does attack. But if I right click somewhere else to move, you can see the character is still attacking and even if the character is nowhere near the target enemy character. So let's work on that issue now. So this is how the attacking works. Here we get attack target and then we do the attacks we play the animation montage here and do certain damage to the target character and after waiting again I run a loop to do a attack if the target is not dead. So now if I want to cancel attacks we can do something like this. We have this attack target here let me get attack target and convert to a validated get and do this only if we have a valid attack target so if we don't we just don't do anything we stop the attack loop right now the only other action we have at the moment is moving away which is called with this go to event so if i get to call this call to this go to event i can set attack target to nothing now i think this problem will be solved let's see yeah now if i click here now you see they are not attacking anymore right and one more thing you may have noticed if i right click the if there is a montage it still plays so we need to stop that stop and montage see if I start attacking and if I right click see now it didn't do the attack it stopped the animation and move the started movie right now the other thing is this enemy guy is not uh, trying to fight back that is also something we need to resolve so perhaps the simplest way to address this is when we get this damage event call we can start attacking this attacker so if we forget about replication for a bit we can perhaps simply call attack actor event so Like 
like this so target is self attack target is this attack let's see Now see, it does attack, <laughs> it doesn't rotate towards the target, but it does attack. So, rotate into a target is also something we need to do. Mm, and it should be handled here. But before that, oh wait, let me just do the rotating part here. We can get back to location and also we can get target actors location as well. This in detector location and then from this tool we can find look at rotation. This is the start and this is the target. It, I think it would be better now if I convert this logic into a behavior tree. But let's just test this for now. So here move component to. I don't want to change the location. I only need to. Change the targets, your value only. Other values should not be changed. Let's do a CNS out. Right, now it should work. Let's first test. Now it does attack, works without any issue. And they're not touching each other, but that's fine. Oh, wait, we can mix that too. Perhaps like this. Uh, how far should be the attack range? We can get direction unit direction vector from the wait, from the target to ourselves and then let's say if the direction should be if the distance should be 70 units let's say 70 because we should not have a lesser value than this capsule radius so even 60 would work and then add to the target actor location so this should allow us to move the characters closer together to actually make them hit each other so let's see that's too close see don't go too close seven Ah, that looks nice. Oh, <laughs> that guy is stick at a, still attacking. Right, that happens because for the attacker, we don't check if the attacker is dead. 
so we need to check that too and a good place to check that would be here branch is dead check on the character itself if it is true don't attack if it is false attack This guy was so dead. Wait, did something went wrong? Let's see. Hmm. He's still getting attacked. So this fix did not work. It seems. Let's convert this into a macro. Dead check. I call this no and another output yes so it should be this true output yes so Let me remove it from here and then add the dead check here. In the beginning. Oh wait. Beginning and also here. Yeah. We need in both cases. So one dead check here, another dead check here. Because uh, since we are running in a loop, We are not coming here. So in the second time we try to attack also we need to check if we are already dead or not. Now let's see. Yeah, that problem is solved. Okay, so I'll stop this episode right here and in the next time let's work on replication of fighting back. Thanks for watching. As always project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.